Psalm 95 is a psalm of praise and worship, emphasizing the importance of recognizing and honoring God's greatness. The psalm begins with an invitation to come and worship the Lord with joy and thanksgiving. It encourages believers to enter into God's presence with a heart of gratitude and reverence. The psalmist emphasizes that God is the great king above all gods and the creator of the earth. This recognition of God's sovereignty calls believers to submit to his authority and acknowledge his supreme power. The psalm encourages a posture of thanksgiving and praise for the God who is the rock of salvation. It serves as a reminder to reflect on God's past, acts of deliverance, and express gratitude for his faithfulness. The latter part of the psalm carries a cautionary message, referencing the Israelites' disobedience in the wilderness. It serves as a reminder to trust in God and not harden one's heart in rebellion emphasizing the importance of faith and obedience. The psalm concludes with a call to kneel before the Lord, acknowledging him as our maker. This encourages a spirit of humility and reverence in worship, recognizing the sacredness of the encounter with the divine. Psalm 95 fosters a sense of intimacy in the relationship between the worshiper and God. It encourages a deep connection through worship, recognizing God's role as shepherd and guide for his people. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel so that other powerful prayers can reach your cell phone through YouTube. I truly hope your hearts will be blessed. Repeat after me, Psalms 95. O oh, come! Let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, Harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Amen. May Jehovah Rapha bless you greatly and powerfully until next time.